G'day Bomber fans, we have had some big contract news in the last few days. Jaden Hunter signed on to remain with us for an extra year, but in much, much bigger news, young gun Nick Martin has extended his contract. The WA Jet won't be leaving anytime soon. It's great news for the club, great news for him, and it has got me thinking about our contract status as a whole. So today I'm going to go through the entire list year by year and, and show you guys who we have signed on to when. So let's get on to a quick little Essendon contract status video. Also, I am going away soon and looking for video ideas to pop when I am gone so give me uh, some ideas down below I would love to chuck out some videos that you guys will want to see we're gonna start in reverse order I'm um, going year by year because most of the names listed in this video are out of contract next season so we're gonna get through the long-term deals first uh, in 2029 uh, Ben Mackay was our only six-year contract on paper as of 30 minutes before I filmed this video but uh, news came out uh, just before that Darcy Parrish is actually set to be on a six-year deal instead of the originally mentioned five I haven't really done a lot of looking into why that is because I was jotting down notes for this video as I saw the news but as we have it Ben Mackay and Darcy Parrish are on the biggest contracts at the club or longest contracts at the club they will both be free agents a few years into their 30s in 2029. In 2028 we have one player becoming a free agent it will be his second turn or as for a free agent Mason Redman obviously turned his back on rival interest to sign a five-year deal with us earlier this year it's good to have interstate players stay put I know he is a country SA boy but he stayed in the city for a while through the sandfall it's a big get in my opinion. We have three signed on till 2027. Nick Martin, obviously the most recent to do so. Fantastic news for the club. Uh, like I said with Redman, it's great to have interstate players recommitting. He clearly loves the club and is thriving here after missing out on multiple drafts. Uh, Peter Wright signed a big contract before injuring his shoulder at the start of 2023. In fact, news of his contract came hours before the news of his shoulder came. It was the same day, which is really unfortunate. And Zach Merritt, he signed on till 2027 last, or oh, sorry, uh, the season before last, the same year that Parrish signed a two-year deal. So 2021, uh, that then would have been a six-year deal, but he is staying a bomber for life anyway, you would think. 2026, Jade Gresham leads the bunch. Him and Xavier Dersma are both here. Two new recruits on decent contracts is good. Uh, we will see them for a few seasons yet. Jade, uh, Jordan Ridley, he is set to become a free agent a little later than most. He will be 28 by the time he first becomes a free agent, while Kyle Langford will be a little bit older. At the start of, uh, well, at the end of 2026, he will be 29, turning 30. So we're set to have him on until one-year deals start coming around I would say he won't be on long contracts then so this is probably his last multi-year deal there aren't as many players through to 2025 as you would expect most clubs have more than the six that we have Alan Davy Jr. is on till then drafted in 2022 stays on till at least 25 uh, Ben Hobbs similar story drafted in 2021 and he will set uh, stay till 2025 as well I'm sure he will earn a new contract with another promising year though Jaden Laverde the oldest of these players he is currently 27 so when uh, 2025 comes up about he won't be on a big multi-year deal you would suspect Nick Bryan signed a two-year deal recently gives him time to impress and feature more in the first team Sam Draper his ruck partner is also signed on till then I think the most surprising here is Zach Reed who has only played a few AFL games but has plenty of time to show a bit more to earn a new AFL contract alrighty and now as you can see we have the rest of the gang if I've counted correctly there are 21 players out of contract next season three of which are free agents who I've already spoken about in a recent video if you want to check that one out a lot of these players are young and put on one-year deals because of our list management situation. I think it's a big reason why we threw out these short-term contracts so uh, Matt Rosa can make decisions at the conclusion of 2024. There are always some players we will want to re-sign early to avoid trade stress. Uh, Archie Perkins, uh, Andy McGrath, Elijah Santos, Jai Caldwell, Harry Jones. Plenty of youngsters, but there are also some who are set to be under pressure from a delisting viewpoint. Uh, Tex Wanganin, Sam Wiedemann, Jake Kelly, Jaden Hunter. Yeah, you got Dylan Shield and Nick Cox who need big years as as well to spark faith in Rosa. I think it's good that we have these all these decisions to make. I hope we don't have any lingering contractual issues so we avoid more outgoing players. In an ideal world, we keep everyone we want to and rid of those we don't want. Uh, but when you have over 20 players out of contract, it's a lot to get done. I'm sure there will be plenty of trade rumors swirling about through the year. Uh, but that's that. Those are, to the best of my knowledge, all the players and their contract status. Maybe I've missed out on one or two. It's entirely possible. Let me know if I have down below. But that's all. Quick little video cheers for watching another another pointless video i hope you have got something out of this uh, and haven't had four or five minutes completely wasted like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and as always go bombers